regenerative agriculture is a really broad term and means a lot of things to a lot of different people. As the climate is changing and we're getting bigger rainfall events, we need to make the soil more stable. And a big part of that is making it healthy. The more healthy the soil is, the more biological activity we have, the less tillage we do, the better it is able to adapt to these large rain events and large storm events. It's kind of a moving target when you talk about sustainability because as the weather changes, what we do on the fields and what we do in agriculture have to change equally. for technologies that could really revolutionize or transform the crop protection space because if you can solve pest and disease issues on farms you can double farmers yields. Humans get sick, well crops get sick, they get diseases. There's a lot of issues with resistance so really innovation was the solution and so that's kind of where I come in. I love to think about technology and how to apply it and so we looked to the pharmaceutical sector for inspiration because when you think about um, what has improved patient outcomes and the quality of medicines that have been generated, it's due to a target-based approach that they take and it's really enabled more, much more precision, it's, it's enabled personalized medicine. And so we thought, well, this is exactly what agriculture needs. And so with technologies from the pharmaceutical sector, they can target specific diseases and we think that being able to do that for crop agriculture is transformational. If you listen right now, it's basically a song being sung by the insects that are in the field living in balance with my crops, which is what we want. That feeds the birds, that gets the whole ecological system going, it keeps the soils alive. But if I were to have grasshoppers out here and had to spray a broad spectrum insecticide on, all of the insects stop. So if we can get it to where I can individualize and figure out which pests I need to target and only kill those pests, I can keep the ecological diversity while at the same time saving my crops. We start by identifying a need, the farmer's needs. And when we have those, we have those very clearly. We then go about identifying a, a molecular target in the pest that we're trying to control. We then develop solutions that very specifically interact with the target in the pest, not other targets in related organisms, not related targets, but very specifically with this biochemical molecular target. It's a, it's a biotechnology-based process. Uh, we screen billions of molecules. We use artificial intelligence and machine learning to identify those that have the very specific attributes we're looking for. So they're effective at controlling the pests, but they're safe to the non-target organisms in the environment. That's been the strategy of my farm for several years now as we got into the regenerative practices, is how do we use less of one product uh, that may be more damaging, and how do we bring that in and implement it in a way that we don't cost ourselves yield and we stay economically viable. We produce enough food for the world but now, as we embrace climate change and we need more ecological diversity and we start to overcome these things, we need the innovation to help farmers do that because for every step I take forward, a lot of times I take a half step back. So while I'm doing the regenerative practices and I think I have it figured out, the next year Mother Nature throws a curveball and I can't get something figured out. So when those curveballs come, it's a matter of figuring out which, which hitter do I bring up, right? Do I go back to my old synthetics or can we get innovation where I can bring out another product that's safer and better for the soil to then be more adaptive to the future. We've done over 200 field trials on four continents in all different geographical conditions and environments, tested the safety on multiple different crops and weed types. The very way we go about discovering new molecules is game-changing. It is the way of the future. This target-based approach gets you to a solution much quicker and allows you to have very selective products that target the pests and, and not the environment. Well, maybe keep it. I have a great team around me. Um, I have my daughter that wants to farm with me. So I want to build a business that is sustainable for future generations. Um, so for me, it's just a constant challenge, but it's also a constant opportunity to learn. The faster we can move things and the faster we can innovate and the faster we can get new products developed, the faster the road to sustainability becomes and the more sustainable we can become.